So we're going to talk about the protozoa of the blood and specifically their life cycle. If you're like me and you're studying the parasites and you're getting confused, what's an amastigote, what's a promastigote, what's a tropomastigote, let's get this all straight. So we have uh, the protozoa of the blood. They're also called hemoflagellas because hemo means, of course, blood. And flagella, flagelletas means the tail that they have. So we're going to divide this into Leishmania. Trypanosoma cruzi, and also Trypanosoma brucei. Now, the different terms in their life cycle that you're going to see associated will be amastigote, amastigote. You're going to see pro mastigote. You're going to see epimastigote. You're also going to see Tripo mastigote. Thing to remember about a mastigote is that this is what is for, found in humans or vertebrates. So we're gonna draw a vertebrae here to remind you that this is what this is the form that is found in humans. Promastigote and epimastigote is a form that is found in the insect or the fly that is carrying it. So we're going to draw a fly here. Okay. Oops. I'm going to draw a fly here, right here for you. And um, specifically, amastigote is non mobile. It's not mobile. So we're going to say not mobile. So you're going to find it inside tissues, macrophages, and so forth. However, the trifomastigote is mobile. So you're going to find it in bloodstream. That's why you can see it in the blood smear test, bloodstreams, etc. So to tell you that uh, to give you a better idea, not all of these forms, not all of these forms are found in every single type of species. So, for example, let's start with our Leishmania. Leishmania, you have a mastigote, you have pro mastigote, but you do not have the other two forms. In uh, Trypan cruzi, excuse me, in tri Trypan soma brucei, you have uh, epi mastigote form, and you also have the tripo tripo mastigote. That's why you can see it in the blood smear. For our T. cruzi, you actually have a mastigote, you have promastigote, you have epimastigote, and you have tropomastigote. So hopefully this little diagram uh, explains you just a basic idea of the life cycle. Please leave any comments you have, and uh, I look forward to seeing you another time. Thank